all right friends it's g man and i'm back bros with a new video it's uh, jason blaha again man the lifting gym slave diet slave fitness slave you name it man lifting fucking gym slave whatever vegan slave okay so he's got a new video up let's review this video it's called carbohydrates are not the cause of insulin resistance or diabetes wow according to jason blaha he's know-it-all and be-all he's going to tell you that car that carbohydrates which are a type of sugar are not going to cause insulin resistance or diabetes wow let me see uh meat has no sugar but carbohydrates are sugar and but but meat is bad for you and carbohydrates are good for you they're not going to cause insulin resistance or diabetes come on bro come on diabetes and that is actually the general consensus of say the american diabetic association carbohydrates do not cause uh, insulin resistance or diabetes and that is actually the general consensus of say the american diabetic association that is it that's the consensus right oh let's see if that's the consensus uh, let's see if that's a consensus all right let's see what this guy has to say that's the uh, consensus index this is a novel biomarker for major adverse cardiovascular events which as many of you know, cardiovascular disease-related complications from strokes to uh, myocardial infarctions, heart attacks, uh, blood clots, and so forth, are the leading cause of mortality here in the U.S. and throughout the world. Yes, I've had a friend who had that. He had an infarct. Okay. World. And it's important for us to get out ahead of this if we want to live full, healthy lives. And I couldn't help but come across a large dossier of literature finding this novel biomarker Again, known as the triglyceride glucose index. Now, you might say, Mike, I haven't heard our president, Joe Biden, is actually endorsing hyperpalatable junk food that worsen uh, cardiovascular disease. So check this out. You know, when buying snacks for the game, you might have noticed one. That's what Blaha is doing. You should watch this video. It's a good video. It's by this guy, High Intensity Health. I can't run the whole thing right now, but it's interesting. And how they covered up the paperwork and everything, the government. Blaha thinks that everything is real out there. People don't lie and all that. Even though he's eating a fake diet and everything else. But anyways, let's go back to Blaha. He's so unnatural, Blaha. The Diabetic Association. Um, that's a consensus of... He's the most unnatural dude on the internet. Why would you listen to him? Fucking his food is unnatural. Everything is engineered, processed. This It's not natural. It cannot be found in nature. The food in his basket, when you look at it, cannot be found anywhere in nature. If you go to nature, where is it? It's manufactured, engineered, and produced, and whatever, by man. Get it? Like all this other shit. The weights that he's lifting, these man-made weights, the man-made food he's eating... He living in a man-made house. It's it's all unnatural. It's not in nature. It's everything in here. This room, his clothes, him, and everything is unnatural. He's an unnatural person. What do you expect? Living in an unnatural world. That's why he won't live long. Most uh, medical doctors, endocrinologists, and people who work with diabetics and work with insulin resistance. Yes, it recruit more people to eat carbohydrates. Uh, eat, eat as much carbohydrates as they can. Blah. blah. Yes. Yes. This is the guy, this guy hates himself more than anybody else. And he fucking hates you. He, he probably fucking hates you more than you hate him. You want to know why? Because look at him, man. Why, why, why would he love himself? And why would he love you? You're the, you're the opposite. You're better than him. He knows that. He knows you're better than him. So he hates you for it. Since that... Uh, he wants to destroy you and everybody else that's out there if he could. Carbohydrate intake. Look at his old videos with the guns and everything. I want to destroy these people, kill these people. They should be shot. Da, 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 da. Bro, he's done so much shit. You have no idea. And then he tries to pretend because he needs money. So now what does he do? He, oh, bodybuilding is good. It's not gay for pay anymore. This, that, power lifting. Do, do, do. Got to get a naked body, guys. Got to look sexy. Da, 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 da. He's desperate for money. He stopped doing those crazy things because they won't make him money. People are not watching his channel. So he's so desperate. He's, he, he saturates the internet with his videos. 11,000 of his garbage videos. 
Uh, they're non-stop pumping them out like crazy. He's pumping it out like sausages. Itself is not actually a factor. And it's not saying certain types of carbohydrates do not affect this, because obviously they can't. But Don't eat any carbohydrates. Eat meat. I'll tell you something. When presented with carbohydrates and, and a steak... I guarantee you the person would eat a steak. You know what Simon told me today? He goes, we were having a salmon. And I remember he says, you know what? I, I need two salmons to be satiated. That's what he told me. I don't know if he ate breakfast. I didn't ask him. But he said he needed two pieces of salmon to be satiated. And I was like, yes. But you don't want to know what the problem is when people, they don't have money. When they want to satiate themselves, so-called satiate. So they eat good food. And what do they do? They go and buy bread, fillers. They buy fillers like rice, bread, noodles. They're so stupid. They're so daft. They're like, because I need to be satiated. Because why don't you just spend the extra money and buy the second fucking piece of a salmon and then fill yourself up? You're going to be fine. Why the fuck do you need all these fillers? In the end, they'll still cost you just about the same amount of money, if not more. You understand me? That's what I tried to explain to, to Simon. There's just no point in people going and buying these fillers and bread. Bread is anti-nutrient. All of them are carbohydrates. They, 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 they turn to sugar. They make you fat. Insulin resistant. A whole bunch of other shit. You never can build your body nothing. You're going to age decrepitly like this dude, bro. Get it? Generally speaking, uh, insulin resistance is caused, uh, one of the biggest causes, of course, any massive calorie surplus that causes you to gain body fat. Particularly anything that's biased towards uh, gaining liver fat, organ fat, things like that. Okay, so here, here and lay the, the problem with any sort of, of idea that carbohydrates cause this. Uh, societies that eat extremely high carbohydrate, meaning 70%. God, he's so desperate for money. I'm telling you, he's so desperate for money and r trying to recruit gym lifting slaves, bro. Get it? Or more of their calories from carbs actually have very low rates of diabetes. They tend to have low rates of insulin resistance. You know, he doesn't even know how to work out properly. He does the same exercises day in and day out. I have never seen him do anything unusual in an exercise that would trigger my mind and say, well, that's interesting, man. Maybe I, I should try that out. You know, maybe I should try that out or try this out. No, man, he doesn't know any, he doesn't do anything that he's unaccustomed to. So, but it's, it's kind of obvious you're adapted. There's no more adaptations, zero adaptations. What does that mean to you to get an adaptation? How do you get adapt, new adaptations? You got to be unaccustomed. You got to do things that you're unaccustomed to doing, unfamiliar forms. What the fuck? He's doing the same thing day in and day out. It's chronic. You understand me? He's accustomed to it. And if you're accustomed, you're adapted. You've adapted already to it. You're accustomed. So he's accustomed to doing the exact same things over and over again, thinking he's going to get a different outcome. Get it? Going to get the naked, naked body, sexy naked body. His body is exactly the same that it's always been. The only difference, he's lowered a bit of the, uh, he's lowered a bit of the, the body fat. That's about it. I don't even know if he did there. Maybe some of it, he's got kyphosis. I don't know. He's got all these diseases and shit and everything. It's all his unnatural life that he's living this style, bro. Nothing is going on there. Nothing. Um, when you look at it in the metabolic ward, most carbohydrates, particularly, say, starchy-based carbs, they don't cause insulin resistance. Okay? Starchy-based... Starchy-based... Carbs don't cause insulin resistance. Okay, what he probably what he wants to say is complex carbohydrates because they're slow acting. They don't spike insulin, so they don't get you to be uh, insulin resistant. I don't know that for sure. It's a possibility there could be some insulin resistance there. It's it's really hard to say. I don't know. I don't know. You're getting sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. Maybe it's preventing. You know, there's some insulin resistance there. Who the fuck knows? That doesn't mean that some stuff won't get through. If there's really some severe damage there, it's got to do something. But hell, who the fuck knows? You don't really particularly know. Just what they tell you in science. They run some tests, da, da, da. But any the body, is, the human body is complicated. And we need to be clear on that point. And particularly if they're more whole foods, right? So you take the, the white rice and stuff out, which still is actually pretty good there. And you look... White rice has arsenic in it. 
And uh, potatoes, they too have some not the greatest things either in it. But it's much better than rice. It does have arsenic. But it does have some oxalate, some other things there. And uh, slightly higher fiber carbohydrates. And then that would include even non Complex carbohydrates. We want carbohydrates, simple carbs, carbohydrates, and man, complex carbohydrates. Yeah, you can use them, but over time, you will mess yourself up. You'll screw up your health over time. In the, in the short run, it's good, but in the long run, what I discovered was it'll mess up your, your health. You're better off trying to go and run on animal fat and protein than uh, carbohydrates, than sugar. Starchy stuff like fruits, they're just, they're not associated with insulin resistance. Uh, oh, fruits? How do you know they're not associated with insulin resistance? They got fructose. Fructose destroys the shit out of the human body and the mitochondria. It fucks it completely. That's why that girl, she says, I wanted to try that carnivore girl I put in my community section. She says, oh, I wanted to try uh, celery juice. I too tried celery juice. She said, I couldn't, I couldn't move my body. I couldn't move properly. I had the same problems. When I did the fruit diet, then I did some celery, this and that. I couldn't run. I was unable to function. I couldn't even run the stadium. It was like I had to force myself. I had to try so hard to run. And now that I'm on a pure carnivore fat diet, I can fucking run down the street. When I ran the other day, I was like, hey, I like, I don't even run with pain anymore. It, I, I was running with pain constantly. It was hurting. It's like it was not pleasurable. It was extremely bad. Now I feel lighter and stronger when I run. It just feels like natural, like normal, like it was before. There's no inhibition. There's nothing inhibiting me from running and uh, causing me pain, this, that, uh, uh, and stress and just feeling really bad when I ran. Now I feel really good like a young person again when I run which is wow that thank god that's returned you know like jesus people who, who eat these as primary foods don't develop type 2 diabetes at an appreciable rate they don't not, at, at an appreciable rate they may not in the beginning but they eventually will and they eventually all do that's what happens develop um, insulin resistance so the question becomes what? insulin resistance insulin you will you will have some ins you're gonna have insulin resistance there for sure and that's gonna age you yeah and here's the other thing that that whole thing um yeah it's gonna age you man it's gonna age you at least people eating on natural diets man it's crazy which foods are associated with it uh, saturated fat it's the top of the list Right? And people can argue about that all they want. They can say, well, I don't know, you know, how come people who do a keto diet, sometimes it reverses slightly? Well, because they lose body fat. Ketogenic diets make you lose uh, weight because they reduce appetite. He looks so ordinary, man. I'd love to see your coach pose. Just do a double biceps, coach, with your shirt off. Let's see what you look like. They do a couple bodybuilding poses for us, man. Reduce calories and therefore you lose body fat. But when you look at even the data on that, they don't have, and we need to be clear, that sort of diet has no additional benefits towards that beyond the fat loss. Okay? It looks like when you look at the data, very low carbohydrate diets, if they improve insulin resistance or improve type 2 diabetes, appears to be caused 100% through the fat loss. They do, they cause diabetes. Eventually, you'll become diabetic. Not right away, but eventually, these people do become diabetic, and your teeth are going to fall out and everything else, man. That, that is the only mechanism by which they, they benefit it. And that's what the experts are saying. And I'm not that saying it was, doesn't work because it will. If, if you're that was the only mechanism. Oh, okay. uh, quite obese, and you lose 30 or 40 pounds or 50 pounds on that sort of diet. Of course, your insulin sensitivity is going to improve. Of course, of course, your type 2 diabetes is going to improve. It will improve the same amount it would on any diet that made you lose that through 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 your calorie deficit. Okay? But we need to be clear, that's the extent of it. And again, not saying that doesn't work. Because someone will come in and say, but I didn't. Calorie deficit. Why do you need to be a calorie deficit? Man, when you're in carnivore diet, you don't need to be any calorie, calorie deficit. There's no sugar in it. That it did work and it helped, of course, because you, you lost body fat. And I would say congratulations, well done. Like, no one's discounting that. Look, but man, the more protein you eat, animal, animal... 
meat that you eat, animal products, animals that you eat, the more you shall regenerate. The more you eat, <clears throat> the more you regenerate. Why is that? Because you're able sometimes to cut off that catabolic hormone. So the catabolic hormone doesn't have to compete with the myositic androgen receptor. It's been suppressed. Get it? It converts to an androgen. So it makes you, uh, how should I put it? Makes you anabolic. When it comes to the actual causes, uh, the, the data is very clear. When we study direct impacts on insulin resistance. Yeah, man, that's, it's, that's the cause. That's the cause of it. It ain't meat. Meat is regenerative. It makes you young. It makes you young. The more meat and seafood you eat, the younger you shall look and become. Eat as much as you can, man. I, it's, I say this. Eat as much animal products and fish, uh, seafood and animal products as you can. And the younger and stronger you shall become. The less you eat, not so strong. The more you eat, much stronger. Suppressing catabolic hormones and things. Liver fat, things like that. Saturated fats, the top of the list. Oh, yeah. Okay, saturated fat. I'm not saying all saturated fats are exactly sure. the same. There is some variation there. Sure. But generally, that category causes the most. Uh -huh. right, what, what happens behind it? Yeah, Fructose sure that reaches the liver. He read some phony report. It must be saturated fat. It's not sugar that's doing it. It's not. Let's, let's get this straight. It's not natural food that carries satu this the saturated fat or whatever the fuck he's talking about from the natural food it's not the na it's the natural food that's causing it you know saturated fat in natural food is not the unnatural food that we're eating that doesn't make that that's not making us sick it's not the refined sugar and carbs and these engineered fruits and vegetables and these fucking ultra processed it's not these uh, processed foods and ultra processed foods and all that Right, right. It's the meat. It's the animal products, the natural products that are causing everything. Yes, Jason, we know. Fructose that reaches the liver. Fructose, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And that usually comes in the form of. Dive into any fructose in uh, carnivore diet. Liver. Okay, and that usually comes in the form of refined sugars in excess. So again, we need to be clear, this is, this is where we see insulin resistance occur in the lab, in the metabolic ward, in humans. Like these are the foods that induce it. But we do need to be clear that the saturated fat, when it's been looked at in, in those studies, calorie for calorie, still beats the refined fructose for that. And that doesn't mean that that's an endorsement telling you to eat a bunch of table sugar. Okay, because that's still not great. It's certainly not good. It's not good for you. And it will still create those problems. It's just that it's not as pronounced as the other. It's slightly less bad in regards to that. But in general, uh, the, the data is extremely clear. And again, the medical expert... It's just slightly, uh, slightly bad that you're eating these <laughs> natural foods that are killing you. It's just slightly bad. It's not really killing you, man, according to him. Because God recruit you to eat that shit. Because he eats, he eats that shit. So you should eat it too, along with him, and suffer. It's largely agree on this. So when someone says, yeah, but this one doctor says different. Yeah, but if you find one doctor who says something and you have a thousand who are successfully treating patients and, and looking at the studies who are, who are disagreeing with him, and they're saying, look, this is what the science shows. This is what my... Uh, what science shows that? You mean the one where they paid off people or the... Or did they do real tests on it? Oh, I forgot. They paid the people off to embellish because they got money. Okay. Expertise shows curing people. Listen to me. If they have to try so hard to tell you that something's, something that's natural is bad for you, <laughs> which is stupid, and then say something that is bad for you is good for you, it's because it's marketing, it's a ploy. They need to make money off you. It's all kind of obvious. The other person is a fringe expert. Keep that in mind. That, that actually doesn't bode well for them because there can always be disagreements medically. There's always disagreements among researchers, of course, right? Any, anything that you, you put out, even a scientific consensus, there's going to be some experts who disagree. Okay, that, that's normal. It's very, very rare to see anything different. 
you know, to where 100% of all medical doctors or scientists agree on a point, right? So there's always some dissension. But the other thing to also think about with some of those dissenting, um, there's also a tendency among those who are saying different to sell books and to make money off that because they also know that there's an audience for that. Right? And for the people who come in and disagree, well, no, 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 you are the audience for that. What's he talking about? The slaves? Yeah, they've got slaves, yes. Okay. Your existence actually makes it marketable and profitable for them to do that, so just keep that in mind. Okay? And again, I'm not saying we shouldn't have alternative viewpoints and that things shouldn't be questioned and, and researchers and doctors shouldn't try other methods, because of course they shouldn't. But you have to be aware of what has been found to be the case and generally accepted and what seems to work. And, and again, high carbohydrate diets themselves are not linked at all with insulin resistance. They're not linked at all with diabetes. It's no, high carbohydrates aren't, aren't linked with uh, insulin resistance and all that and uh, heart problems. I know what it is, it's, uh, it's meat. It's natural products, animal products, which don't have any sugar in them or toxins. Just protein, which your body needs, and these and all nutrients, not deficient in one nutrient. It's something that's not deficient in nutrients and is high in protein and collagen and everything else that's in there. And, new, and these fucking minerals and vitamins, they're all in there. That's what's causing it. <laughs> okay highly refined diets usually high in fat because what you also see even even if table sugar and stuff is too high and it does highly refined fat what animal fat or like these plant fats these fats or whatever you're making there from these weird fucking grains and shit <laughs> you concoction there create issues you still don't see a lot of diabetes or insulin resistance to that you know to that extent among Weird. people who are eating low-fat diets or diets with almost no saturated fat, irrespective of the quality of carbohydrate they're consuming. Okay. What? So that that has to be factored in. Again, not endorsing that, not telling people, and, and again, you'll see medical doctors will tell you the same thing. You make those statements. You're like, look, I'm not telling you to go drink a bunch of soda. Okay. What I'm telling you is that carbohydrates themselves are not linked to it and that if you're eating a, a, a lower fat how the fuck would he know that i know because some study told him that they already discovered it's all fake now they've already discovered it's fake blah ha. come on wake up man this is the 20 20th century 21st century bro you understand me they found out it's fake i am very high in carbohydrate and it's more whole food carbohydrates you're probably not going to have these problems. Like I said, man, give any child or any human, give them like seafood and fucking meat. And guess what they're going to eat? The meat and the seafood. Forget about the fruits and the vegetables and all that. They're never going to eat it. The only reason they eat it, it's fillers and they've been forced to eat it. It's a filler and they've been forced to eat it and it's a waste of money. Stop spending your money on garbage. That's useless. That's like buying like the cheap shit and then it breaks. Might as well spend a little extra money, get something better, get it? But in fact, you're just spending money on worthless stuff, worthless. That's how they steal your money. They steal your money by selling you things that are useless, that you don't even need. You think you need it, but you don't need it. But they want you to believe by putting a fake belief in your head that you need this it's important you got to eat that or you got to do this or you need this you got to buy that that's just crazy okay it's just again it's just not seen in the in the case studies it's not this is what blaha is doing he's putting a need in your head that you need these carbohydrates like, what does he work for this industry you getting paid by them to advertise this what the fuck bro to brainwash people hey man you really fucking you need this you need this fucking shit even though you don't need it but you need to really need it you gotta go and buy it you gotta you know you gotta give us your money and buy these useless things and eat this shit that you, you know what i mean destroy yourself what the fuck seen in the research is not seen in the epidemiology right carbohydrates themselves are not the cause of diabetes all right guys they are absolutely the cause see you later man this was ridiculous this guy's crazy i'll see you in the next one tell me to think about that like subscribe comment down below helps with the algorithm see you in the next one friends ciao